Hello, welcome back to the ministry, and I think we're on like part six of this video. But because I was telling you the part of the story of you need to have your house in order because your children will be affected by the decision in which you make. So your husband will be the head and the Godhead to your family in order to lead them. As Esther, you are anointed to carry your husband spiritually. I'm seeing Tiffany Montgomery and she did a, a short where she was talking about you're anointed to carry what your husband has in him. You're anointed to deal with his demons. You're anointed to deal with any major decisions in which he has to make. Xerxes was anointed to cov to be covered by Esther. Now, I don't know where Esther missed it that Xerxes still ended up dying after being married to her for only of about 10 years. But there is an anointing that you carry that you got to be on point to see the attack before it happens. And you cannot rest on your laurels. The key is making sure that you and your spouse come into agreement in prayer over the attacks that you see coming in the spirit. So that when you pray together, you can go in depth, in prayer, in standing you and your spouse going to have to fast together. You're going to have to pray together. You're going to have to stand together constantly. And for this mode, your God of Dane's spouse is going to have to stand for you in fasting during the seasons in which you can't fast. Because when you're pregnant, you're not supposed to fast. So you may be able to fast in a different manner, meaning... For instance, you may do your two major meals in the day and you have to do your water in the middle and that is your consecration to God, the time and frame in which you are doing water before the Lord during that period. But you cannot fast, fast, like go without eating like you may have when you weren't pregnant. And then your husband has to come to in agreement with that during the period of time in which you not eat. And that's when you... You go into prayer during those phases. But you you got to know what's necessary that your body can keep. Because I've known people that they did fast while they were pregnant. And then they wouldn't, they would eat no meat and only ate fish as a protein for the baby. Uh, you and your husband going to have to double down in your prayer life. Because... You both got to be praying. He got to be able to cover you. You got to be able to cover him. And he got to understand. And you're going to have to show him how to pray in certain areas. Because he's probably not praying like you pray when it comes down to it. But And understand, you might be able to stand there for an hour and pray. He may not be able to stand there an hour and pray with you. But you all going to have to come together at a specific point in, in prayer for that thing. You learn his schedule, he learn your schedule, and you work in tandem with what best works for y'all's schedule in what it is that you're called to walk in because you got to cover it. Prayer must be a part of your life. The word must be a part of your life because you must do what's best for the four generations back and the generations coming through your womb, out, meaning your children, your children's children, your children's children's children, your children's 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 children. children. The lineage of Boaz, remember, Boaz was the son of, um, remember the harlot that, uh, what's his name, Joshua? Men ran into when they were trying to come into the city and her house was on the wall. The child she had, that child was Boaz. 
Yeah. We don't see him again until he's 80 years old and about to marry Ruth. They then have a lineage that they bear, which... uh, It says in Ruth chapter 4, verse 17... And now the last of Naomi's sons again, and the names of him, Obed, he became father of Jesse, grandfather of David. This is the genealogical record of ancestry of Perez. Perez, the father of Harazon. Harazon, the father of Ram. Ram, the father of uh, Aminadab. Dab and Minadab was the father of Nashon. Nashon, the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse and Jesse David. So there is actual lineage that is meant to come from. This thing. So you have to come into the knowledge of the. What is it? Um, Generations. This child Obed was literally a deliverer for the four generations back of Boaz. Okay. And your husband and your children are covered by you. So, there's still more. I got another part. So, I'm going to come back and see what we can do without that.